Hello y'all, I'm already in Dollar Tree on Dollar Tree Tuesday and they have folding glasses. You, hold, you heard me, they fold. These are um, the readers that people use. I use them all the time and they're different strengths, but they fold. Look at this, how tiny. The arms fold and the middle folds and they have different powers and they work really well actually. I just don't know what I would use it for other than just trying to save space but you know they're not bad so very interesting they have regular readers and some dark uh, sunglasses and they have kids sunglasses as well and on the same aisle they have this aloe vera soothing gel for after sun which is probably is very nice I don't know what it smells it smells good or you, know, you always have to worry about smell products oh actually that smells really nice so I'm always checking out the sock aisle, and it's a lot less than it usually is, but they have socks for children, socks for adults, and they have a lot of cute socks for women. Um, not seen anything really new. These are kind of cute. Not decided on those orange stripe ones, though. Um, this is different. I've not seen red, white, and blue socks. These do say $3, so you do have to pay attention. They look like they are crew socks according to the label um, but they, these performance socks are pretty nice but they usually have some other kinds um, not seen anything spectacular today um, although they always have these diabetic socks which are really nice because they don't bind up at the top so they're very helpful for your circulation and they usually carry them in black and white today I'm only seeing oh wait no here they are up here in black and white um, and then they have the kids socks and then if you look a little further down they have men's socks and sometimes they have what they call crazy socks or some type of uh, sock that's specific to a character or whatever and right now they're doing the Star Trek and I've already purchased some of these for my little nephews and I think they like them pretty well and here's the Spock one down here sometimes they're hard to find they also have the shark ones they have this space chain space case and then this is um barbecue and this is cars of course and uh, there's golf ones back there so and there's motorcycles a couple of rows of motorcycles so yeah those are great and then they have some other socks so it's really great so they also carry uh, a lot of bags of different kinds and scarves and the scarves are down there and they're really cute some of them some are summer some are more fall looking or left over one of the things i really like are these mesh bags um these little mesh totes and this would be good for the beach and they're only a dollar 25 whereas if you get a mesh bag from like target or something it's gonna be seven eight dollars if if a dime anyway um and they have different colors they have red they have black they have gray they have a blue see there's the handle in the back I don't want to knock them all down uh, but they're really nice and this one is not a mesh bag but it's the same type of bag just a little bigger and not mesh and then they have some more down here in different colors gray and green different colors I like those I have these cute little purses these look like springy purses for little girls but you know what girls love purses any time of the year really right and then they got some just plain caps you can put your own name on them, whatever you want to do you got red, blue, black, so those are kind of cool. Um, and then I love the Snugadoo socks. These are extremely soft. I like to sleep in them. And they have a bunch of different pairs. And look, they got some for kids, which I haven't seen the kids ones. So that one, that's kind of new to me. But uh, yeah, they're very, very soft. Um, and then they have a bunch of pillowcases as well. So. And they do a lot of uh, different items. They have pillowcases. Now they're having bandanas and scarves. And this is, of course, for breast cancer awareness. So that's really nice that they do that. This looks like it is some kind of sticker. Yeah, for breast cancer survival. That's kind of awesome, right? Let's support our breast cancer survivors. So I was just checking out on this end. They have some placemats. These are Spider-Man. And these are Be Kind with the Disney Princesses. There's Babe Shark. And then we have the Paw Patrol crew. More up here. So that's kind of nice. They're getting out there 
summer supplies, you know, when the kids are going to be out of school and be home, and you're going to be taking care of them, so getting some of those things out for us, and then here's all the meal containers, and here's some more placemats, but these are more of the adult version, variety, more decorative, they have lemons, oh, made for sunny days, oh, that's cute, that's really summery, and then we have this one, life is a beautiful ride with the bicycle, that's cute, um, gather here with grateful hearts. Uh, that seems more like a fall thing, but okay. And then there's the wine. And then they have together we make a family. Apart from the home, a family is a patchwork of love. That's cute. And then they have one down here. So, what does it say? Always stay thankful. That's really cute. So, yeah. And then here's more of their storage containers. I always like to come down here and check the glass aisle because these are real glass and some of them are very cute look at this I'm scared to drop it but at the same time look at that I love the and it's real glass it's heavy and then they have these that are taller no that's the same height I thought I saw one that was taller oh I did it's down here that are taller but it's slender on the bottom but they're really nice glasses heavy duty looks like they'd hold up but if you got kids you might not want to risk it just depends and then down here they have the short glasses the like a scotch glass type thing and then here we have like a beer glass almost with the weird bottom big bottom and then here we have the mugs with the handle this is glass um, the bachelorette stuff that I'm touching is actually glass too these little wine glasses without the stems are all glass. Making spirits bright. It's a shot glass, or not a shot glass, but a, a liquor glass. Are all of those are glass. Let's see if these are. Yep, even these little um, flutes like this are glass. The shot glasses, they are glass. That's glass. So, um, this mug, this little coffee mug, this is glass too. Even the salt and pepper shakers, sugar shakers, and all of this is glass as well, which is kind of nice because it's heavy. So, and then on this side, they have all of the plastic wear. They're starting to put out more and more stuff at this store for 4th of July. So, these blue bowls, red bowls, and there's a clear one for white, I suppose. And I like that they're different styles. So, you got that one's curved, and then this one is like this. I really like that already bought a little set and we have tons of dishes and cups I have so many cups but these are double sided and they're really nice it's a nice size flower market grow with love ah, so if you're trying to give a little gift or a housewarming or a pick-me-up for somebody it's me you are perfect to me you are perfect and that's true our pets think we're awesome and then they have the red cups. I wish they'd push those back a little more. It scares me. But, um, and I've seen at other Dollar Trees that they have the red plates and bowls that match that. Like right here, see these? You have these red cups, these red cups. And down here you've got little plates. And of course they have the white ones. Don't see the red ones yet, but they might come. And then there's a big soup bowl back there that's red too. So kind of nice. Um, and then on this side, they got the popsicle makers that they put out. Lots of melanin bowls for 4th of July. There are three in a pack, so for $1.25, you get three bowls, which would be nice for feeding people during the summer. Like, you have a bunch of kids around, and you don't want to do dishes all the time. Oh, wait, look, there are the red plates. <sighs> you just have to look more. <laughs> I know that rule about Dollar Tree. You got to look up. You got to look down, because you never know where you're going to find something. We have these, and these are BPA-free uh, water bottles, so that works out nicely. Um, these are nice. I haven't seen these before. These are just BPA-free water bottles that screw on and off. The lid down here, they have uh, coffee cups uh, like this. They're a little step above styrofoam and reusable, to sure, at least for a little while. Uh, these are nice. 
And then they got the pictures up there for making your drinks and stuff in there. So let's go and see what else we got. So now we're doing hand sanitizer fancy. It comes in a package and it has a clip. I forget that there's a special name for these clips, but there's a clip you can clip on like what dollar twenty-five and clip your hand sanitizer. I love the fact that there's so many feminine products to be got here because it can get real expensive really fast. Um, and I've seen some folks do some reviews of these pads and they work just as well as pads from someplace else or the fancier ones, the more name brand ones. And uh, why should it be so expensive to have that? It's terrible. Um, so, but they also have plenty of cleaning products, little power stick sprays, roll on ones, and then the bigger ones down here, name brand ones. There's power stick and then arm and hammer. There's some swab ones around, I think. So, oh, these are a good deal too. Oh yeah, it's only one patch though. But any of these that I have found work really nicely. My daughter loves them. Um, I don't have a period anymore, so I don't have to worry about that stuff. But it's very helpful to her, and so that's a really good thing. Um, women and wipes. These little pouches. I'm on the fence about them. Because while they say they're private, yeah, who's not going to know what's in that? And why not just use another pretty little bag? I mean, why use that particular one? I mean, I think it's not going to shield you from people knowing what it is. But um, it is private in that you're not just holding your pad or tampon in your hand and walking around with it. It's still not all that private. Um, then we have the body wash. Zest, view five for men. Look at that. We're getting more and more good stuff for, for men. Um, they have a nice selection of soaps, zest, oils. All right, let's go along and see what else we can find. I always check the uh, travel section for different things because they're really good for your car as well as travel i mean travel in your car is travel right but they're still nice to have like this right here is awesome these are the scope little mini toothbrushes that have the pick on the end these are awesome i've used them and i have a bunch these are some smaller um hand sanitizers i know that doesn't seem like much but it's very helpful to have a small bottle like that sometimes for your purse or for a backpack or something like that um then we have the small hand creams when hands are um, sticky or you need some dryness relief those are nice to have all right so we're going to keep going and we have of course some bandanas scarves that are here on the end for fourth of july on the end cap and they also have a whole bunch of flip flops for summertime and we're going to keep going down this section here. So this is new to me here. I've seen Rolaids here, but I've not actually seen Tums. So if you prefer Tums, then here they are. It's nice to have on hand if you suffer from any kind of indigestion or discomfort. It can help out. They also have lots of other, uh, I would say, pretty decent products for medical type things like they do have the hauls I love these they was my godsend recently they have different kinds they have the hauls red relief uh, then the hauls relief up there and then this one down here is defense and these are different flavors that one's honey lemon this one is a cherry flavor and then this one it's a citrus flavor it's not bad I do like it and it does help a lot and then they have Ricola that's new I mean, I've seen it here before. I just haven't said anything about it. And then we have the emergency. This is not a cure, but it's supposed to help you when you start feeling bad. But they have other things like, this is chest rub, but we know this is mocking or knockoff. I shouldn't say mocking, a knockoff of Vicks Vapor Rub. You know, so, and it has the same active ingredients, so that's really good. Um, they have some cold and flu medicine. They have allergy medicine, sinus medicine. They have aspirin, ibuprofen. They have, and if you want name brand instead of the just the plain generic stuff, they have Tylenol. That's not a huge pack, but for $1.25, 
you know, get the job done. Advil PM, that's very helpful. I leave. What's the difference? One is naproxen sodium, one is acetaminophen, which is the Tylenol, and then the Advil is actually um, ibuprofen, but it's name brand. So that's the difference in them. They have a little, they have, it kind of give you the same effect, but some are stronger in helping you with muscle relief, pain relief, and others in headaches and that sort of thing. So, all right, so let's see what else we can do. So they also have like the muscle rubs and band-aids and, you know, these are the supplies that you will go through very, very quickly and, and you just have to throw them away after they're too old or after they're used. You don't get to reuse them, so it's good to be able to get them on a discount like here so I love the fact that they have so many toothbrushes because I'm a big into making sure you keep your teeth clean although I don't think my kids brush their teeth near as much as I think they do if that makes sense so but I'm always buying them new toothbrushes and I'm always trying to find a way to make it fun so this comes with a cup a brush and a cover which is really nice um, this is actually I gotta put my glasses on so I can see a battery powered toothbrush so it's gonna vibrate which is helpful for those that don't brush very well you know so the elderly might get a big benefit out of that they have packs that come with the tug tongue scrubber and um, with the teeth pick toothpick and the actual brush and then here are some replacement toothbrush heads I would assume these are for this battery operated toothbrush up here um, of course they have dental floss and then they have how cute this is it's got suction cups that sits on the side so anything to make that fun these are Barbie brand this is Shopkins this is Firefly um, so your kids are gonna know these Thomas the train um, and they'll tell you on there whether it says soft that's how hard the bristle is most of these are gonna be soft um, because people don't like that. Look, here's Hot Wheels. Isn't that adorable? And then for the little, little ones, you've got these popping brushes. Popping, popping toothbrush, brush buddies. And it has an extending brush handle with a fun character. And it comes with a, a cap so that you keep your toothbrush clean, which is very, very nice. And then see, this is AIM Close-Up Colgate. Excuse me. Reach Oral-B. I mean... These are not knockoffs. They are the actual name brand. But there are some other ones. Like this is um, an eco-friendly toothbrush. And uh, there are some more knockoff type ones like the BB. Um, and then you have uh, this one, the Brosé A Dents, if that's correct the way I said that. Um, so for teenagers, they might like the brighter things, less kitty stuff. Or, you know, your husband may not want to participate in the kitty stuff. Here's... Rainier teardrop shape, teardrop shaped for the mouth, and then they have all the different um, toothpastes that you might want to use. Ultra bright. There's whitening. I thought I thought whitening strips too. And there's some charcoal powder for. I guess it's supposed to whiten your teeth. I've never tried it. So, all right. Now on this side, I'm gonna try to take a look at the makeup. So I was looking for a little bag for my husband to put some of his little incidentals in. And most of these are just a little too feminine. Now that might work because that's sort of uh, flowery paisley. Ooh, that might work. It's just black. I don't think he'd like the handle on the end, but a little strap. But maybe we can make that work. Um, yeah, that might work. I have to decide between that and something else I found on another aisle. That one's blue. Yeah, I think if I was going to pick one, it would need to be black for him. Um, but he wanted something just to put his fingernail clippers and things in. So, um, I think I'll get that for him. So, there's lots of different beauty products here. Um, you need to replace your blenders regularly. So, $1.25, it's a blender. Is there really a, all that different between one blender and another this one does say it has rose oil in it which is kind of cool um, but if you prefer name brand this is sassy and chic and it's that shape and that one's pink but they have black if you prefer I don't know if the shape means a lot 
um, difference in the way you put your makeup on. I'll have to research that. Um, I do have these little shavers. Yes, if men are watching, we do sometimes need to shave off a little of that peach fuzz off of our faces. Um, so, most of these products here are Sassy and Chic, which is a name brand. Um, but, you know, I find that a lot of things that are not name brand are almost as good, if not better, than the original. Here um, are some other beauty blenders. This one is a teal. This one is purple. There's one that's pink up there. They just say beauty blenders. I don't think they have any special, like, rose oil or anything like that in them. So might be good for folks who don't want the rose oil who don't want to um, chance you know breaking out or something oh when they did have one over here that's infused with green tea oil I don't know what that's supposed to do for you it sounds like it's something good right um, and then here's one that's green so you have different ones you can pick whatever um, I know people really are digging the clear lip gloss by my own I think it's cute um, and here's another glittery lip gloss this one is also by Oni but it, it, this one looks a little different this is Elizabeth on it lip gloss and this one down here is crystal lip gloss instead of glittery I guess um, BB benefit cream there's dark multi-action skincare makeup is what it calls it so, and then there's some more foundations, lip colors. These are wet and wild. So that's awesome. Let's see. We have lots of eyelashes. So I don't know if there's any particular one that I gravitate to, but they also have the eyelash glue. Um, this is an eyelash applicator. Here are just the pieces, so you don't have to do a whole one. And then this is more lash glue. Um, and then they have the La Mercier. This is the different, um, it's a brand name, La Mercier. And then here's the eye liner, the eye mascara, the matte finish setting spray that they have on that. And then they have the Nude Smoky Eye Shadow for that. So, I see they're putting out the L.A. Press Powders. Um, I did buy at another Dollar Tree. I did purchase one of these um, sticks. Um, this is multi-use, three-in-one. And it is a pink satin. I thought that would be pretty on my skin tone. So, I got one of those. And then they have some other colors. What is that one? That is medium. And that's all I'm seeing right now. Yeah, even behind there, they don't have another one. But, oh, this looks, looks new. Glossy finish, moisture lip gloss. Here's another one. See the different color? I found a five-pack of these at another store. And I almost bought it. But I didn't because it was $5. And it was pretty, but I already have a lot of lip gloss. So, I decided but that was not something I needed right now even for a dollar and a quarter <clears throat> so let's see what else we got here more eyeliners and stuff but I did find my husband a little bag so I'm happy about that and then they have all this nail stuff which I have a ton of nail stuff and I need to actually do my stinking nails because I just have been putting it off but they have everything you could want I don't know what this gives you the comb powder so I haven't bought it yet but I've thought about it many times so polish gel polish remover gel polish remover tool plenty of files and of course tons of nail polish or at least a big selection of nail polish all right and over here we have hair brushes so I got some really interesting news today that really kind of frustrated me I have told my daughter so many times from the time she was little don't share her brushes and she's in seventh grade and they're at their end of testing right and so she tells me that this how does my hair look mom and i'm like oh it looks nice did you brush it did you take your brush to school no a friend of mine did and what hairbrush did she use oh she used her hairbrush 
it's okay. It was clean. She pulled the hairs out of it. Oh my gosh, I was so like really because I've been teaching her don't do that. It's not it's hygienic. Don't don't share hairbrushes. And then she says, well, she also brushed another girl's hair. And she told me the girl's name. And I was like, oh, my goodness. You guys don't understand that y'all shouldn't be doing that. Sharing hairbrushes is not a good thing. So I tried to equate it to brushing teeth, and she got grossed out. And I said, well, the friend was trying to be helpful, but I get it. <laughs> she was trying to be helpful, but, yes, it's not a good thing to do. So let's not do it again. So I didn't chastise her too much, but she got upset that I even said anything. But what am I supposed to do? The lessons sometimes come to me that I need to teach. So I need to teach that one. All right. So this is hair lightener. I did buy one of these at another store. And if this one had a lid, I'd buy this one because this stuff works. I have very thin hair these days and this does make it fuller and it makes it nice and I do like it and it's not sticky. But they don't have another one, and I don't want to buy the one that's there with no cap on it because people have probably been spraying it. It doesn't feel empty or anything. And the cap seems to be good and tight, but I just, is that weird? <laughs> like, I don't even like the fact that this is not wrapped in plastic. It's just open. So are these, you know? It's hard to tell if somebody's opened them. I don't want an open product. I don't think anybody does, even if you're trying to save money. So they have some hair colors, lots of hair supplies. Um, I haven't tried a lot of these, um, but I'm very picky about what I put in my hair, so I don't try a lot of new things. So, see some name brand stuff still. Here's some Pines, Cleaning Solution, and this is a Perfect Color Complex. So, it's a, a lotion that helps you with your skin tone and of course while I was talking I was shooting all of this and showing all the different uh, little cute little hair ties and they have some really nice ones I don't put my hair up or back because it's short and my daughter doesn't like to put her hair up either because I think she's just kind of <clears throat> lazy but I could be wrong she just might not feel good or confident in doing so because I don't think those adorable they're kind of a, like a blend I haven't seen that but I don't look at this stuff a lot. So here's some plain ones, but those are cute. These got little beads. These have a little trim of beads. They have some really nice, look at that, that's pretty. And then here's one that matches it. So this is um, like a ponytail one, and this is the, the band that goes around the top of the head. So these have a lot, they do have a lot. So you have to take your time and look well, because you might find a, a gem in the, in the, the rough diamond in the rough type of thing. Here's their things and cloths and more makeup stuff. So I don't know if I've seen that or the two-step mask, but they have them here. Uh, I've seen most of this other stuff and I've bought some of it and I've tried some of it. Some of it's really good. I um, haven't tried all of it, so I can't say about everything. I think this is really cute. So for traveling, they give you a face mask and a pair of earbuds. That's probably really good if you're having trouble sleeping on the plane. They have black for men. Well, I say for men, they're for anybody. And blue. So you could buy one. No, yours is one color and theirs is another. So that works out. Now here's some, some new shampoo they're going to put out. Volumizing conditioner. That's something I definitely need. Because my hair is so thin. Let's see. Did we say PS General? Hmm, I have to look them up. PS Clean Beauty. I have to look them up and see what I think of that. So, alright. I'm going to go down the food aisle a little bit. So, I'm in the drink aisle and they have all kinds of drink mixes you put in your drink. And I do love the ice waters. I really do. Um, and I like the ones with caffeine because I need caffeine. Oh, look. I haven't seen this before, even if it was here. It probably was. They're the Boost and then here's Breakfast Essentials. So, it's pretty interesting. And then they have the Icelandic water. Wow. And uh, that's usually pretty expensive. So I'm kind of surprised. 
And on the side we have animal crackers and cookies and things like that. I've already bought Nikot and Captain's wafers, so I don't need any more right now. Club crackers. Excuse me. We're gonna keep going. And they have so much candy. So many treats that you have to be careful of. Not to overindulge. Some really good stuff too. Uh, one of my favorite new... Oh, look, they have it. This is my favorite new snack. Sesame honey uh, habanero, pineapple habanero crisps. They're a um, sesame seed chip. And it's not really even a chip. It's this size, but they are really, really good. And you're not going to believe this. But they're good for you. Yes, I was shocked. Okay, so if you read the... Um, instructions not instructions you read the ingredients it doesn't have anything bad in it there's no red dye there's no crazy stuff it's good until 10 25 i bought like five packs of these already the house because they're one of my favorite go-to snacks and look they have dried cranberries um tomato and oregano crisps so they got a lot of goodies so they have lots of got banana chips, lots of nuts of different kinds. I usually end up picking up a pack of pistachios when I'm here. That's not pistachios. Pecans covered in salt. They got wasabi peas. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I don't see my uh, usual pistachios or I'd grab some. So they have one of my deadly snacks called Takis. Love me some Takis. Lots of... Uh, Candy, very tempting, very bad. I'm gonna keep moving. Lots of good stuff, but lots of bad stuff. I'm moving out of that candy aisle as quick as I can, actually. And <clears throat> moving on down to the um, tools and car aisle. I'm actually kind of on the hunt for an item that I'd like to try. I mean, I don't know how good it is until I try it. Oh, they haven't cleaned this aisle up in a little bit. It's got lots of stuff. That doesn't belong here and doesn't look like I'm gonna find the item that I'm looking for but I you know it is out there they have a lot of nice stuff for cars though to help you out with uh, that and tools and maybe the item I'm looking for is just not where I'm looking for There's some little garbage cans for your car they have tarps they have zip ties organization they have some um, screwdrivers this is a screwdriver set i bought one of these they're kind of handy to have this is a nail set right here um and then a bunch of other different tools and then the hanging stuff is on the end for hanging stuff on the wall and on the other side and i can't neglect this because i always end up buying something for a cat usually but this is the cat's area clippers and snacks and toys or cat litter even i don't use that cat litter but they do have it um what's this ocean explosion oh it's cat treats they have some up there so here they have palms and then we get into the dog stuff and there's lots of dog toys yes lots of doggy toys and uh, up there they have phone accessories that are kind of in the wrong aisle but they're cables and they do work very nicely they have different colors sizes and lengths and i do use those so now i'm on the crafting aisle and this is the vases and i had only found one of these at another dollar tree and look how many there are here but it was by itself and i bought it and used it for uh, decorating my little arrangement for the Memorial Day 4th of July stuff so looks like their crafting area here could use a little straightening but they have a lot of really good items for crafting I'm not a crafter but I can appreciate people who do and then there's lots of um, flowers over here and then we're gonna go off of this aisle and we're gonna go down this one and see what they got. These are some electronic items that are five dollars. So we have a grip for a game system, 
here is a shoe kit clip light um, tripods that light up um, this goes on your bicycle apparently yeah to, flip, to make you colorful in the dark excuse me um, Flip on selfie lights. So let's see what else we can find down here. We got some um, decorations. Oh, and I saw these at another store and I bought them. And here I can finally see them. Never apologize for being a powerful woman. A woman's place is anywhere she wants to be. Here's to strong women. May we know them, may we be them, may we raise them. I agree with all three of those sentiments, and I think there's at least one more. Let's see if they have it here. I think it's in the back. Yep. She believed she could, so she did. I want to set those out like this. People need to see these because they're awesome. I know, I'm weird. I arrange your stuff. Oh, what is this? I gotta look at this up close. Although you are no longer with us, we know that you're looking down on us with love from above. Oh, wow. Okay, I have to buy that. Okay, that's creepy. Every time I come to Dollar Tree, I find something that reminds me of my mother. Huh. It's just weird. A little scary. Hmm. I have stories about that. I went to one Dollar Tree and was looking around and and nothing spectacular, you know, no, nothing weird going on anyway. And I walked right past it probably three times and then all of a sudden I felt something and I turned around and there was this huge display from floor to ceiling almost and it was full of pics and they were pansy pics. My mother's name was Pansy, so it freaked me out. So I bought one of every one of those pics. The different colors because when I was a kid I always tried to find something pansy for her and I never could find it so I bought them and I made a I found a vase and I put them in it and it's in my house now and it's just a reminder of my mom so a um, little memorial to her but it's really weird okay this is new I haven't seen this before digital tire gauge for five bucks hmm, that's kind of interesting um, oh I have seen this one I just haven't bought it it's five dollars and they're seat belt pads. You know how seat belts cut you funny and they hurt sometimes? So there's that. This is in the five dollar section. Um, if you've not heard me say it before, those tidy rolls are not as a good a deal as they seem. You can get them cheaper elsewhere. Uh, these are cool. I think you could use these for more than just your car. You could use it for dusting a lot of things. It's two-sided. It's a plush Chanel wash mitt, and oh my gosh, it's so soft. It's three dollars, and I love that pretty color. And then I don't think I've seen these here before. These are um, uh, gla uh, two sided glass towels for three dollars for cleaning, they're nice. Um, so, oh, something just caught my eye I have not seen before. Oh, wow, okay, so I don't know if that's for burning incense or if that's a candle holder since it's here near the incense I would think it would be and it's got three little groups on the back I would think that's an incense burner let's see if it tells us it says candle holder so you put your candles on that that's interesting um, they have these little that would be good for somebody getting married for you put your rings or something on next to your bedside table I've been looking for one that's more generic for that purpose and this one is a heart I don't really like the way that looks and it wouldn't fit in my decor so I was like I'm not gonna get that so guess what I did get you're gonna laugh I bought a cat food bowl it's so cute though it's kind of plain and it's small and it, it's scooped and inside it it says meow with a little heart and so I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. But you could do anything, you know, you could do something like this. Isn't that cute? It's got the little B on it. You could take this off if you wanted, the handle, or leave it on. You could use that next to your bed. Or you could just use it for that. I think this is out of time. But it's here if somebody so wants to indulge. I do really like these little jars here. They're kind of 
not with the other things, um, the other vases, I mean. And there's some more hidden things down there. And I'm trying currently to look at these. You see, all you need is love. All you need is love. Oh, they put a sticker over it. There's only one happiness in life to love and be loved. And be loved. Not loved, but love. And then they put the sticker over that one. Love is a pardonable insanity. Wow. I like this one. I will love you forever. That's pretty. <clears throat> Those are nice. So. I have so, what, so many whatnot thingies, though. So it's not funny. So. I did buy one of those folding step stools. They're five dollars. They work just fine, and I'm a big girl, so I'm gonna tell you they hold a lot and do their job well. So <clears throat> have lots of scents, and I bought a few of these. I bought the ones I really like. Oh, some of them smell really good, and some of them not so much. I guess it just depends on what you want. Like I like the ones in these little round jars. The ones in the little square ones. That are textured yeah not so much <sighs> baby I don't know what's in that but it doesn't smell great not to me anyway but you know to each his own you have to decide what you like and these are a mixed bag for me some of them I really like and some of them I can't stand now these are new I saw I think another video with these in it this one says clarity it's a very very mild scent but I think that's the only one I see is the one that says clarity does that mean I need clarity is that what the universe is trying to tell me is I don't need anything but clarity I'm trying to see if there's any more down here I need to be aware of no I don't see any more oh wait I'm dumb they're up remember the first rule look high and low so here's another one this one Reestablish. What does that say? Re Reestablishment. Healing. That kind of smells like medicine, like menthol, a little bit. And then this one says balance. I smell balance. Oh, I like that one. But it reminds me of a bathroom. It's like a smell you would smell in a very nice bathroom. And then they have. Just some open, I mean, it's open inside. There's no lid. It doesn't bother me. It's just doesn't have a very bright smell or like this, I guess. Yeah, it's okay. doesn't smell bad, but it reminds me of a bathroom. And I don't know that I always want a rumor. Okay, so this is a little magnet. It says baking conversions. You can't read that very well, so that's that. Well... I'm getting close to being done, and that's a good thing because the battery's going to die on my phone, um, but um, they do have the Dory and Nemo, those are cute for summer, and they do have plenty of goggles, adult size and children's size, and I'm trying to go down the other side here, and they do have these novelty floats, the popsicles. And it says this, let me ask you a question about these. It's $5, but it is 42 inches. So a child could definitely fit on that. Um, not a huge child, not probably a teenager, but and not everything over here is five bucks. This is three. It's a little fishing game. And not all the floaties are five. This one is only three, but it's more plain. So it just depends. And then, oh. I'm glad to find this because somebody broke my other one. I bought this, hung it, and somebody played with it. Or the cat did it or something. I don't know. Nobody would confess. So I'm going to have to get another one. My husband said it was my um, hanger that broke and that that was my fault for buying a cheap Dollar Tree hanger. And I said, oh, how dare you blasphemer on the Dollar Tree. We have good stuff at the Dollar Tree. Never say that. Never say it's not good. I think it might have been me the way I put it up. So, I have these in my bathroom already. Those are $5. Yes, $5. And some of these are really cute, and they're $5, too. Most of this is. And there are lanterns up there. 
solar lanterns, five dollars. But my sister-in-law bought these, and they're great. And the, you have to buy the stakes though, because they don't come with one. But you know, they they're nice. Well, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you for coming along with me. Hope you come on the next one. Y'all take care. Have a good one.